so hello guys uh, today we have a small update uh, this is not going to be a job update basically this is going to be an update for you in prior because tcs is going to hire for nqt role where uh, the engineering students will be getting hired in this role for the packages of 3 lpa 7 lpa and 9 lpa so uh, let me show you the things here uh, in this disclaimer they have given that the eligibility criteria that is currently shown in this website is for initial reference and then the detailed and specific uh, requirements will be shared when the registration is open so now the registration is not open this is uh, a thing where it is uh, shared to let you know that uh, there is going to be uh, hiring in TCS NQT and you should actually prepare start preparing uh, now itself for this role so uh, they so if you think uh, who will be eligible for this role and what will be happening in this role it will be same to same but uh, the registration date uh, that is the registration start date registration end date and the batch will be different so here uh, you can see that the nqt will be following a test pattern for prime that is 9 lpa digital that will be 7 lpa and ninja that will be 3 lpa where you need to apply for a test and based on your test performance you will be qualified for prime digital or ninja they have given the eligibility criteria that is like you should be pursuing uh, B Tech, BE, M Tech, ME, MCA, MSc or MS, and all this specialization should be offered by AICTE or UGC recognized university or colleges. So uh, now let's look into the test uh, eligibility criteria here. They have given that uh, this is only exclusively uh, for the candidates of B Tech, BE, M Tech, ME, MCA, MSc or MS. And then you should have like 60 percentage or 6 CGPA throughout your academics, including your highest qualification. And also they are telling that you should not be having any pending or active backlog or arrear uh, when you are appearing for TCS selection process. And then if you got selected, there should be no pending backlogs and uh, it will be not permitted at the time of joining TCS. And also you should have completed all your backlogs within your course uh, duration that is stipulated by your university. Then also uh, they are telling about the extended education that is no extended education is allowed. And also you should have completed your course in stipulated course duration. They have mentioned something like gap or break in education. It is mandatory for you to declare the gaps in education if any and the overall gap should not exceed more than 24 months until your highest qualification will be collecting your documents right so they will be checking for everything you actually cannot fake anything so you should be open and you should uh, declare anything that is happening in your degree then uh, they are telling about the course type it should be only full-time course and only it will be considered the next thing is about open schooling where candidates who have completed their secondary and senior secondary from NIOS are also eligible to apply if the graduation and post graduation courses are done full time. Then about the work experience where candidates with the prior work experience up to two years are eligible to apply for this hiring process and it is only applicable for the post graduate students. Then they are telling about the age where the candidate should be between 18 to 28 years and that's the thing that is required here. As I mentioned the hiring categories are three where you will have Prime, Digital and Ninja. In Prime if you are an undergraduate you will be getting 9 LPA and if you are a postgraduate you will be getting 11.5 LPA. Then if you scroll down you can actually look into Digital where if you have completed undergraduate you will get 7 LPA and if you have completed your postgraduate you will get 7.3 LPA. Then in Ninja if you have completed your undergraduate you will get 3.36 LPA and in Ninja uh, if you have completed your postgraduate you will get 3.53 LPA. Then they have mentioned about the test and, uh, and the pattern. In this test pattern you can look at you will be having two parts. That is part A that is foundation section and the part B that is advanced section. 
in foundation section you will be having numerical ability verbal ability and reasoning ability and you will be getting like a uh, duration of 75 minutes in the part b you will be getting around two hours to complete it where you will be having advanced quantitative and reasoning ability and advanced coding totally you will be getting like three hours of time and you will have to complete your test and based on your score you will be getting selected and shortlisted for the roles such as prime ninja or digital we have also posted many of the resources in our page like including the interview experiences the coding questions numerical ability questions uh, reasoning questions quantitative questions verbal ability questions in our channel you can actually check that playlist we will provide that link in the description too uh, that's the end of this video i think this update is very useful for you and we will update you when the registration date is open and we will make a separate video on that and if you have any doubts you can actually ask us in the comment section we will try to help you out and uh, that's the end of this video i will meet you in another video that will be very helpful for you and if you found this video helpful hit the like button subscribe and share it to your friends